These women say ISIL captured their sisters and mothers and traded them as sex slaves for more than two years. Kurdish forces rescued the women close to the town of Tel Afa, north of Mosul. Their loved ones wait to see them again. This woman, who doesn't want to be named, says ISIL fighters took three of her daughters when the car they were trying to escape in broke down in Sinjar in 2014. Only one daughter has been found so far. She's learnt that ISIL took the other two, one of whom is only 12 years old, to Raqqa in Syria. I've been crying for two years. Nothing can explain the pain I feel. I always tried not to cry in front of the children. We're happy to have her back, but God, please bring my other two girls home too. When ISIL advanced into the Sinjar region of northern Iraq, it captured thousands of Yazidi women. ISIL considers the Yazidis, a Kurdish religious minority, to be unbelievers. They have been attacked and killed by ISIL in Iraq and Syria in what constitutes an act of genocide, according to United Nations investigators. ISIL used the women as slaves. They have all been raped countless times. They are often sold on to different ISIL fighters, some as many as 10 times. It is incredible that in the 21st century these terrorists treat women like this. It's pure evil. Reunited at last. There are no words to describe the pain, the fear these women have suffered day and night and with nowhere to hide. The victims of atrocities committed by men convinced they have found moral justification for the crimes they commit. It's impossible to truly comprehend the level of suffering that these women have endured over the last two years. This center alone says that it has reunited more than a thousand women with their families in the last two years. But of course, there are thousands of others still missing. The women refuse to talk to us before they leave. They are scared about retribution against family members still living in ISIL controlled areas. They leave for the camps for the internally displaced where they will learn to live again. Scarred for life. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, The Hook, Northern Iraq.